Hey guys, Stripter here. Today I've got some early Call of Duty World War II gameplay for you, showing off the new war mode, playing both attack and defend, and as you probably already saw from the title and the... What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I have some exclusive early footage of the Call of Duty World War II beta. So I was there with a bunch of other YouTubers, we got to play and record for over three hours, and if... So last week, I was fortunate enough to receive an invite out to Sledgehammer Games to play the World War II beta early. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Prestige. Today, we are doing some early access gameplay of Call of Duty World War II. Huge thank- So other than just feeling extremely left out, I'm a little bit concerned. See, now Call of Duty World War II looks like a really solid shooter, and in my dumb predictions about Call of Duty World War II video, I said it doesn't look like the game's gonna do anything special. It has a lot of cool little changes. I love that every year with Call of Duty, as similar as each title can be, there's always a subtle difference between each developer and how they treat the source material, and I guess the overall project. But with Call of Duty World War II, as I'm watching the gameplay, I did want to talk about something I'm going to miss, and that is just new. Everything I've, I'm seeing in Call of Duty World War II, I've seen before. I'm not talking about the divisions. I'm not talking about the 60 hertz servers on console. I'm not talking about any like of the changes they did. When I'm watching these YouTubers play the game, it looks like I've seen it all before. And of course, that's to be expected, right? But at the same time, why? We have pushed, or I should say the Call of Duty community has pushed so hard for a back to roots Call of Duty, a boots on the ground Call of Duty. And as much as I can understand that, I feel like I'm gonna miss, at least for the next couple of years, being a little bit surprised. See, now Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare weren't exactly my favorite Call of Duties, but when they revealed the multiplayer, I had questions not immediate answers. When I'm watching these people play the beta of Call of Duty World War II, I don't have questions. I'm not like, oh, what's that? Oh, what does that do? I've seen it all before. Now the game is gonna be pre-ordered by me. I'm gonna be buying it. I'm going to play the beta. I'm, I'm gonna probably even enjoy it. But when, when Call of Duty Infinite Warfare came out with its multiplayer reveal, it was so messy that there had to be another eight minute video to explain everything that was going on. I'm not saying that that's my permanent ideal for Call of Duty, but Call of Duty being something that confuses me when I first see it, and I have to, like, hey, you know, what was that? What happened there? You know, that the, the Infinite Warfare trailer actually confused me. Same with Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. I saw so many new things, my brain was just freaking out. I was like, what am I looking at? And that's usually what happens when you have games that have new ideas and new ways of going about things. But with this game, I don't have questions. I'm not puzzled. I pretty much know everything about the game that there is to know. Now, I'm not talking about these in this video, but there are nice little changes and little additions and little features that'll make the game interesting. But base gameplay, watching people run, duck, shoot, throw grenades, I've seen it all before. And as well as it could play, will it be fun? I don't know. I don't know. It could play really well, it could be really intuitive, it could be really competitive even, but I don't know. I, I just... It, it's a really stark contrast watching them play Call of Duty World War II to playing Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare, even Call of Duty Ghosts. Let's talk about old Ghosty here. When Call of Duty Ghosts got announced, we saw destructible environments. We saw things being knocked over. We saw women in the multiplayer. We saw some dude in a crazy suit with a knife. It had so many things in it. it. Had the cluster bomb, it had the cranked game mode, we saw things breaking. Now, the trailer oversold a bit of the destruction and a bit of how the game was going to play. Sure. And I'm not saying every trailer needs to show just the best parts and try so hard to be innovative, it just ends up being gimmicky. But at the same time, when I'm watching the Call of Duty World War II footage, I'm not scratching my head, I'm not puzzled. Everything's just... It's like base level COD. It's like going back to the raw cocaine of Call of Duty with a little bit of Cheeto dust in there. I don't know. I don't do drugs. 
So with this weird little video, I guess what I'm saying is Call of Duty World War II can't excite me, but it might entice me to give it a try, and it, and it definitely has. I mean, I'm going to be pre-ordering it soon. I'm going to play it. I'm going to give it a good try. I'm going to give it a fair review. Um, the world isn't turning against it. There seems to be a little bit of a solid back and forth. It's not like the blind praise towards Treyarch games or the blind hate towards Infinite Warfare. It's... Um, it seems to be a little bit of a conversation going on, more so than with Black Ops 3 and IW, so that'll be interesting to get in on, and I'm going to be honest with you guys about how I feel about it, but right now how I feel about it is, yeah, I've seen all that before. I've seen all those weapons, I've seen all of those types of gunplay elements, uh, what, are, what are words? But who knows, maybe the game will super impress me and this video will not age well. I'm just sharing my guys my guys i'm just sharing my opinion with you guys at the moment and everything else is uh kind of up in the air so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna go do some other things and get ready for the worst gonna shooter history i have a special episode plan it's gonna have multiple weapons maybe it will maybe i'll separate it into multiple episodes that would actually help me out a lot anyway it's gonna be a world war ii themed thing and it's gonna be really cool and i kind of almost just completely spoiled it but maybe not Anyway guys, if you like this video, leave a like on it and let me know what you think about Call of Duty World War II. Even if you're not a COD player, I don't just want to hear that you hate it or you love it. Give me some give me some interesting comments. I want to read through some stuff. I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.